This is Calvin Eba from Eba Labs, and this is how to assemble my Beetleweight anti-spark switch. Similar to a finger tech switch, you turn it clockwise to turn on. There's a, a 30 to 40 ohm resistance that uh, charges up the capacitors without creating a spark. And then when it's fully on, there should be no resistance. When you're turning it off, unlike a finger tech switch, you have to unscrew it completely until the screw tops out. First off, I like to insert um, the copper tabs into the nylon housing. And then I like to take some sandpaper and um, just get down to bare copper so it's easier to solder if they're on. I sand the bottom of the bottom tab and the top of the top tab. Once you have that, you can uh, remove both tabs. I like to start with uh, the battery lead. So I'm just gonna tin this. I like to um, switch the negative side of the robot. So that in case uh, your robot becomes electrified, or the chassis becomes electrified, then when you turn on or off the robot, it won't arc to, um, to your switch. So I'm just tuning these. Um, a little flux helps, but it's not necessary. I didn't use the flux this time. I want my battery lead to come out at a 90 degree angle, so that's why I'm soldering it at a 90 degree angle. You can have it come out straight or the other way around, depending on how you mount it in your bot. Next, I'm gonna solder the 30 to 40 ohm resistor onto the top piece of copper on this little tab. I'm just gonna line up the edge of the resistor with the edge of the copper and then solder it on. Next, I'm taking the smallest piece of copper and soldering on the other on the to the other end of the resistor, lining up this edge of the resistor with the edge of the copper again. This is, the robot side. Uh, this is the one without the extra tab, and it has the extra long tang. I designed this section to be extra long, so you can add multiple wires to. Um, to the robot without having to split the do a, a Y split later on. In this case, I'm running a 4 in 1 ESC, and uh, this little guy is for a BEC, 5 volt BEC for the receiver. So these are the only two wires I need. Um, on other robots, you can stack up a bunch of power wires for all your ESCs and um, solder it that way. All right, once we have that all done, we can clip off the ends of our resistor and then I fold it like a zigzag, like this. And this just allows for more vertical compliance when we assemble the switch. All right, so now we're gonna press everything into the housing.
So here is the, how it should look. And the other half of the clamshell goes on top. Next, we take our M3 tap. And I like to use some isopropyl alcohol as lubricant. So I'll spray some down the switch and onto the tap. And then tap the switch. All right, now that's tapped, we're gonna open up the switch just to get the copper chips out so we don't get any arcing. Now that the switch is all cleaned out, I'm going to pop the copper pieces out a little bit so that I can insert the brass screw. And then I can press the copper pieces back in. second half back on. The last step is to take the little plastite screw with a T8 driver and fix the two halves together. Now your switch should be completely done. Um, to turn it on, you screw it down all the way like a finger tech switch. But unlike a finger tech switch, when you turn it off, you should completely unscrew it until it tops out against the top.